Hello everyone, um, my name is Jason, the HB Tech Guy, and today I'm going to show you how to create administrator mode shortcuts without the UHC prompts in Windows 7 or Vista. Um, so what this means is you're not going to have the prompt pop up, so it, we're going to be doing the example of regedit. If you went to regedit before, you would get this prompt here, which is the user account control prompt. So what you're going to do is you're going to hop into uh, the task scheduler. And on the task scheduler, you're going to create a new task here. On that task, um, you're going to name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it Run RegEdit. Um, don't have to put a description. You can change the user group where it applies to and when you're logged on, when you're not logged on, etc. Um, but you want to run it with the highest privileges so you don't have to do anything else on there. Um, on the new action, you're going to do a Create New and then it's going to start a program. The script you're going to type in is for C Windows regedit.exe, which is where the file is located. You're going to hit OK on that. It's going to have that information show. You'll hit Start. Go to your task scheduler library. It's going to be right here. So you can run that and it'll pop open your regedit. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this into a shortcut. The easiest way for you to do that is to right click the desktop and then create a new shortcut. This shortcut is going to be linked to the scheduled task. You're going to type scheduled task and you're going to run it. And then the name, oops, sorry, let me go back here. So you're going to type in the name that you called it. So it's going to be scheduled task, run, in, run. Regedit, and then hit next here you're going to name it. This is Reg Edit for your desktop. So that's going to name that icon. So now every time that you need to use or open Reg Edit, you can just double click here and open Reg Edit without the user account message popping up, the user control account message. So I hope this has been useful and this is how you would bypass a lot of those prompts as far as doing things like using RegEdit or any of the admin tools. I hope this helps somebody out and I will talk to you guys later. Signing out.